you ever wondered what happens to the energy when it is not used? Where does it go? How is it stored? Today, we will try to answer these questions for you. The main point to remember is the supply and demand of energy must be equal at any moment in time. There must be sufficient amounts of energy available to live in our modern world. This means that if you want to turn on a lamp, enough electrical energy must be available to make the lamp light up. But in the power grid itself, you cannot save energy. Throughout the day, we need different amounts of energy from the power grid. Therefore, constant adjustments to the supply of energy must be made. Studies have been carried out on the daily patterns of human activity and as a result these adjustments cater for the predictable changes in demand for energy at different times. The most noticeable changes in demand for energy occur when we are carrying out our lives. The demand is highest between 8am and 6pm. This means during the day more energy is being used by us powering our computers, televisions, lights, etc. Since we sleep at night, we use less energy. Of course, there are fluctuations during the day, but as a whole, this is the case. But what do we do if more electricity is produced than we need? We do not want to switch off wind turbines and solar cells, but store their energy for times when no wind blows or the sun does not shine. That's why we need energy storage. Here are a few examples of the most commonly used storage types of renewable energy. In water storage, water is pumped up a hill at night. Less energy is needed and this electrical energy is converted into potential energy held by the water. When energy is needed, the water is released down the hill flowing through a turbine that converts the kinetic energy to electrical energy. Another form of energy storage is storing energy in batteries. In this process, electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. For example, if too much energy is drawn from the power grid, it is held in large energy stores, and later, when the energy is needed again, the chemical energy is converted back into electrical energy and fed into the power grid. A very different form of energy storage is the one with a compressed air storage power plant. Excess electrical energy is fed into a compressor which squeezes air into an underground cavern and stored there. If energy is needed, air is heated up and released through a turbine. The turning of the turbines is converted to electrical energy and fed into the grid. The storage of energy is an important part of renewable energy production because you cannot simply turn on wind or make the sun rise earlier. We hope we have answered your questions. If you have any further questions, please take a look at our website.